10 gram bullet is fired into a 10 kilogram wood block that is at rest on a wood table. The block with the bullet embedded slides 5 centimeters across the table and the coefficient of kinetic friction for wood sliding on wood is 0.2. What was the speed of the bullet? Okay, so what we need to do is, as always, let's go ahead and get a picture. So we have a bullet that's going along here and it is 10 grams which is also equal to 0 0.01 kilograms and we want to know what the speed is then it slams into this block right here and embeds itself the block let's see the mass is 10 kilograms and it slides 5 centimeters across the table They tell us the coefficient of kinetic friction, so mu sub k, is equal to 0 0.2. What is the speed of the bullet? Alright, so I like to think about questions conceptually a lot first, just to kind of see where I'm going to go. So we know that this bullet has some sort of momentum to it, right? It has a mass and it has velocity, of course. The block would as well except its velocity is zero so this goes away so the total momentum for this system is equal to the total momentum for the bullet so we can say that our delta p is equal to the momentum of the bullet all right so now the Basically, we can treat this going back to the relationships that we had before of J, where impulse is equal to the average force times time, which is also equal to delta P. We're going to try to find these two guys right here to solve for the final velocity. So delta P, or P for the bullet, is equal to the force of the average force times time. Okay, so now let's draw some, um, what I can't think of right now, draw our forces on this block. So we know we always have mg straight down. Then we also have our normal force. Then friction is stopping it, so we have mu sub kn. And that's it. Those are all of our forces. So now if we sum our forces in the y direction, we get n minus mg, and it's not accelerating in the y direction, so ma will equal zero. So n moving mg over is equal to mg. Good, so now we can solve for our friction force because we know that the friction force, friction force is equal to mu sub k, which they give us, times n, which we just solved for as mg. So mu sub k times m times g gives us 0 0.2 times the mass, and this, in, in this case, is the mass of the block, block plus the mass of the bullet. So that is going to be 10.01 kilograms times 9.8. And that is equal to 19.6196 newtons. All right, so we're halfway there. So we just solved for the average force or the friction force. So now we just need to solve for time. So they tell us that the block slides, of course, 5 centimeters and put into standard units, move it over to is 0 0.05 meters. So now um, let's go ahead and we're going to use a kinematic equation. So we have one right here, delta x is equal to 1 half 
a t squared. And we'll use that to solve for time. But we don't know a either, so we have to solve for one more thing. Well, we know the friction force now, so force is equal to ma. Isolate a, and we get a is equal to f over m. So that gives us a is equal to the 19.6196 newtons divided by the mass, which we said was 10.01 kilograms. So A, if you plug that into your calculator, will give us 1.96 meters per second squared. Now just a quick note, be careful because normally we would think of this as a negative 1.96 meters per second squared. For our purposes for this question, we're going to ignore it, but just don't let it bite you later on for other questions. So let's plug that in and solve for t. So if we divide by one half, that's the same as timesing by two, then we divide by a, so two delta x divided by a gives us t squared, then if we square root both sides, Square root that, square root that, the square goes away, that leaves us t. So now we can plug that in for t. So 2 times 0 0.05 meters divided by a, which we solve for is 1.96 meters per second squared. And then we square root that puppy. And t is equal to 0 0.2259 seconds. All right, so now we have everything for what we want up here. We have our friction force, which we solved for with the, where is that, the 19.16. I think it, oh, there it is, right here. And we just solved for time, so now we can solve for V, for the bullet. So P for the bullet is the mass times the velocity, of course, which we said is equal to the friction force times the time. So if we divide M over, divide by M, the velocity of the bullet will equal, finally, the friction force times the time divided by the mass of the bullet. And just remember, in case we forgot what we were talking about at the beginning. The reason we can use just the, the mass and the velocity or just the momentum of the bullet is because in this case, the momentum of the bullet equals the total momentum of the system because the block was originally at rest. So now let's plug in our numbers. And the friction force we said was 19.6196 Newtons times the time, which was 0 0.2259 seconds. And that all divided by the mass of the bullet, which we said is 0 0.01. And we plug that in. The velocity of the bullet is equal to 443 meters per second. And rounded for mastering chemistry, we have, I always say mastering chemistry, mastering physics, 440 meters per second.